here it is the Z 8000 M I bought this from a seller on ALI Express the seller's name is Happy Dog and it was shipped to me by DHL all right the outside of the box looks excellent I uh, of course give it a good looking at before I sign for it you know how those DHL gorillas work there it is a box inside a box as usual Looks good. Good strong Chinese cardboard. Quite full in there. A little swollen out on the sides. Nice, nice little handle. Alright, let's see in there. We've got some bags of air, I guess, for emergency. And look at that, a manual, instructions for use, nice shiny, looks like it comes in multiple languages here, Chinese, English, all that good stuff, nice, nice pictures. A lot of pictures, not much description, but a lot of detailed pictures in here. That's pretty good. That's the manual. Looks like a little case of parts. And it's even labeled in English and Chinese mini multifunction combination machine tools. Looks like a bunch of screws, drill, drill bits, chucks, bolts, odds and ends, all the small pieces that would run away in the big box. Piece of cardboard with some Chinese lettering on it. Might have some reason. After sales warranty cards. warranty cards for you to keep and for you to send in that's nice I said I have to fill that out and send it in it's like some laser cut wood pieces and the CD it's a DVD video so I'll uh, run this and play this for you in the video a couple shots of it see how it is and a uh, fancy screwdriver oh. well I don't think this is good I don't think safety glasses are supposed to work like this. Nice huge crack right through there. These are not going to work for safety glasses. Uh, hopefully this is the only thing damaged. Transformer. Of course. Multi voltage input from 100 to 240 with a 12 volt 3 amp output. And the power cable for that. And it looks like the headstock all wrapped in bubble wrap. 
little protective tape around it. Uh, this is where the motor mounts to this gear reduction and this gear assembly and that's the drive output for the drill bits and stuff like that. Uh, let's crack it open. A strong tape. Stronger blade. Too bad it didn't fit in the box. The box is nice to keep it all everything together. But here's the headstock. The motor mount into here, belt driven around there, and that's where you put your drill bits or whatever. All right, well, let's take out this case. Oh. Uh, there's a huge crack in the case right here and there's a big crack there let me get it out of this package yeah this has been hit hard big cracks in there crack through there big crack through there big cracks through there I'm going to have to make a claim on this I bought this 8-1 model for the one reason that it had this case to hold everything together. Uh, now this case is destroyed. It's like DHL's a little rough with their packaging. It probably was the fact that this was here in the box and that whole thing got dropped on that, scr scrunched it in and then the domino effect that went all the way up there um, smashed it. So I'm going to have to talk to my seller and tell them the thing arrived damaged. Anyways, let's open it up. See what we got in there. Hopefully nothing else is busted. Clips are a little rough. The lid removes from the case for easy access. Looks like we got here one, two, three, four, five, six, six binding tools. They slide into these grooves, which you can't see because it's covered with plastic. And as you tighten the screw, it squeezes together and it has a groove, a B notch in there to hold two of these together. So we get six of those. And there's the short block with the drilled holes and see there's that groove that comes along through there. And these, because I've got, I purchased the Z800M, it's metal, seems to be aluminum because it's not magnetic. And it's got the tool company name, website phone number, email address on them. Here's the motor assembly. Pretty lightweight. Just a little hobby motor in there with the fan. Those are the fan ports. There's a fan in there to keep it cool. And the power supply plug. And here looks like it's three jaw chuck. Yep. And that's how big it is compared to a small normal size hand. Outer grip and inner grip. And this is the motor gear drive cover. The belt cover. So uh, 
Motor will go in there. Gear drive belt cover it so when your shavings get stuck in the belt. Here's the dividing wheel. I'm gonna keep that in its bag, but it's got the little holes on it. Small dividing wheel. And two drive belts, one centering device, a bunch of the sanding discs for the sander, got five right here, and the uh, pointer for the dividing wheel right there. We will get more into what these parts are and what they do when we build that particular model designed for it. And here's your grinding wheels and wire brush kit. This looks like the jigsaw table. Just a small table. Good machine to cast metal. As long as you're not too rough with it, it'll work for you. Here's the mill vise. Uh, gonna have to make some way to keep this on there. Probably put rubber ends on that. Keep that on there. But the cast metal mill device, it's all pretty strong metal. Little scale on there. A wooden dowel about that big that long and here is the wood turning tool not too sharp not too straight either on its cut but I myself got anxious on this wood turning stuff and purchased on eBay it did not come in this container this was just a good place to do it a bunch of knives for carving and wood turning bought these separately on eBay five bucks I believe and another smaller screwdriver and the drill press handle and the adjustment blocks you can barely see measurements in there got some slop before I move so I don't know how accurate those measurements are going to be Gee whiz. like a half inch before it starts moving on the slop on that well if you're going to be accurate you're going to have to take in consideration that there's the other one. A lot of grease down in there. I'm not sure what this is or what it is used for. It's held. Hmm. Well, we'll get to this sometime in assembling things that's going to be need to be used. The another spacer block. This must be the saw table with measurements on the side like that. Pretty thick, pretty strong for the scale of what you're going to be doing or should be doing on this. This would be just fine. And these look like attachment plates. Machined aluminum. After it was cast, it was machined down to fit those corners and stuff. Here's another headstock for turning in and turning out on the lathe. Put your endpoint on there. Tighten your device down. Not too tight now, but there it is. The other headstock. 
another plastic cover of some sort with a screw hole and two alignment points. When we assemble this, we'll figure out what that is used for. And this is the grinding wheel cover. And another head stuck. Belt driven. This is a plastic wheel instead of the other one which was metal. Interesting why there is two. I don't know but in assembling we'll find out. Another wooden dowel. Not too big. Don't know what they're for but we'll find out. The grinding wheel. For that grinding wheel assembly. Looks like a tool rest for the lathe. Of course, cast metal. This case is destroyed. Here is the wheel for the sanding disc. Pretty stout, pretty strong. Pretty tough threaded end. Probably built stronger than is needed. They put the sticker on this one. Doesn't give you the part number of what item it is, but still has some slop before the movement, but You'll have to take that in consideration if you want to be super accurate with what you're machining. Then the long stock. They put covers on it to keep it from getting mauled up. Here's machining metal inside the tacking points, plastic covers, metal stock. And the last piece is another bracket, an aluminum L bracket that was cut and drilled. We'll find out what this gets used for when we start building it together. And one damaged shattered case. Thanks to the gorillas at DHL. Well, next video we'll put some of these pieces together. And find out how they work. Now I've just got to put this all back together in some sort of right spot.